What's going on my friends? So I have 11.3.6 ready to download, but I'm waiting. I have uh, two more tests really that I wanna run. Right now we're doing some final gauntlet testing on 11.3.4 and mostly focused on the hairpin in the final left, but I figured on our way there, we'll go ahead and run the early parts of the gauntlet to see. And just to show you guys, if you can see, we are in assertive mode. I'm trying to give the system full permission to act as quickly as it can. I have not seen a whole lot of difference between chill, average, and assertive. And uh, I have seen some noticeable difference in whether or not you have minimal lane change or MLC as I've come to call it for short, turned on. It will sort of have the bad habit of staying in the rightmost lane on the highways and continue behind slow traffic until you give it permission to go around it by turning that off. And it doesn't seem to matter which mode you are in. Minimal lane change, I think, in its own way overrides whether or not you're in chill average or assertive. Kind of just, it's its own mode, at least in my testing. <clears throat> really coming on the brakes here, kind of strangely, playing our pathway around. Let me go ahead and expand this for you guys because I know what direction we're going. So we'll get the full glory of the screen here. Got a car here this time, but we're still kind of in those parking spots. All right, let's see how our right turn initiative it is. It is, wow. Well, right turn initiative is. Let's see, we got a car coming up and uh, another car behind that. Let's see, after that, we got a big truck. I don't have anybody behind me, so I'm kind of just letting this happen. Well, I'm about to have a Chevy Volt behind me. So we're still not moving. And I'm giving it throttle because we're just sitting here. Okay, jeez, caught a little loose gravel there. I barely gave it any touch on the throttle when it launched. Cool, gate open this time and still a really good left turn. So system seems to be performing really well there regardless of whether or not that gate's open. Now let's see, it being right after 9 a.m., you know, heavier traffic, can we get over? We got a van that wants to get off the highway, so this might work out just fine because we'll get over while they get on. Beautiful, all right, that felt really good. That initial right turn is probably one of the last sticking points for the staging area of the original gauntlet. It won't really be a focus in gauntlet 2.0 or the level two gauntlet, which if this goes well here on 3.4 today, my testing for 3.6 is gonna be pretty interesting. I'll do my initial lap with the traditional gauntlet, so to speak. And then we're gonna go right into level two the next iteration of the gauntlet and see how 3.6 handles that. But first we gotta get to our hairpin and final left turn with this one. Now this won't be premiere, this will be chapter based, so if you wanna skip ahead to the final left turn testing, go ahead. Um, I know a few people that wanna see that repeated, so I'm gonna do that a few times. Uh, and if the better lighting conditions, meaning not as much sunlight given the cloud cover, just allows us to do it perfectly, you know, the first two, three times, and it won't really require much further testing. All right, we need to get over. Taking a little too long here. But good job, very natural lane change. That little scenario right there kind of plays right into my experience with it having a bit of a lack of decisiveness or, you know, timely execution. I've had several customer trips become failures because it would not detect the fact that it needs to get over soon enough. Like I could have made it if it was just a second quicker at deciding to change lanes and it doesn't and I have to take over. So that's unfortunate. Still a really high success rate so far, even with that. Um, I don't want to spoil anything too much. Robotaxi reports just a day or two away now. I finally got just about all the data together. And it's mostly taking this long because I'm doing a final compilation review of version 10 and everything I've gathered on version 10. That way we have a better idea of what's happening with version 11. All right, here is our hairpin. I'm gonna spay pay, <laughs> jeez, we try it again. We're going to pay special attention to if we're getting a false positive from the stop sign and how much it creeps forward here because we have our own designated lane. It's showing a path to go all the way through now. Oh, there it is, darn, it had it. We're stopping quite far back. You know, we're not totally clear because this, this car is waiting on us, which is dumb. And I just got honked at by the person behind us. So come on, beta, let's go. She didn't need to wait. That was on her. But yeah, impatient humans behind me. I already got the honk. So you guys see what happens there. 
So from this point on, I'm basically just gonna rapidly go back and forth between the hairpin and the final left to generate some more information. I was a little distracted by the fact that we had a car behind us and everything going on that I didn't see if it had the message that we were stopping for the stop sign or not. But I did see the path planning showed us going all the way around and then it stopped halfway. Well, we have a straight through green light here. Oh, never mind. Going red, so we'll fast forward to the green. Now I am seeing the, the median picked up right now. The occupancy network is depicting the median. Let me change our contrast here. For this occasion, it might actually be more beneficial to be in day mode. Yeah, you can see the slight shading. It has, the occupancy network has the median there. And our path looks cleaner this time for traversing it. Oh, that was perfect. And again, I'm still on 3.4. I have not upgraded to 3.6. This is the same version that attacked Gauntlet previously. So let me go ahead and run that back a few times and we'll see how it does. That was really, really good. I found a little route to quickly get back here to test out the hairpin and the final left a few more times. I don't really expect there to be any difference on the hairpin. Uh, this time around, we're going to switch now to chill. Why did it, it went over to chill with one click. Hang on, we might have been in average on that last one. It might have somehow got swapped over, which is weird. All right, we're in assertive this time. We have a bus behind us, so I can't slow it. It's showing a full path around here. Sorry, full path around. It isn't until right here that we... Oh, it came up a lot farther that time. And I have to give it a little throttle still to get it moving there. Interesting. So we had slightly different performance. Maybe that last lap we were on average. I put it in assertive when we started, but I might have I might have touched the button on accident and put it back into average. Because if you, the right, this scroll wheel button now is a, a quick map, or sorry, a, a quick select between the modes, which is a really good way to activate minimal lane change from right there if you need to. All right, let's see how assertive handles this because we'll, I guess, assume now that the whole last encounter for this portion was on average. It is still staging over beautifully. That is wonderfully solved. If it continues to perform this way with this left turn and, and the hairpin, really, uh, it's ready for gauntlet level two. Let's see what our path planning looks like here. I'm starting to think that that was just an issue with lighting. We have occupancy now we're picking up the median we've got a good planned path and we have beautifully smooth execution so that was fantastic two for two flawless double left or right, final left is a simpler way to put it Sorry, well let's do it again okay we are coming back around to hotel circle again now to test the hairpin and final left this time in chill mode i'm assuming the first time was an average given when i went to switch to average after the fact it went to chill <laughs> and I had made sure it was an assertive when I had started, but I must have I must have hit it. So the second time around, we did go in assertive, and there seemed to be some slightly better hairpin behavior uh, with it coming in a little bit later. That also could have been circumstantial. But this time we are in chill mode, confirmed, and we're gonna see. You'll notice it shows a full path around in the lane, uh, solid blue, you know, indicating an a driving route or an accelerator route. But then as we get up to the stop sign, it throws that that block. It shows where it stops. So you can see here, we got the decelerating chevrons, but it shows a full path around. And then, oh, oh, wow. Chill mode for the win all the way to the edge of the hairpin, checking for visibility and continuing onward. Hey, hmm. <laughs> I'm sort of wondering, and, and hopefully those of you who are better equipped about this stuff can tell me, do you think that maybe because I'm doing this so rapidly that there is some lingering persistent memory that's allowing the vehicle to perform better versus doing this course days apart? I don't, I, I know that we don't really have the ability to store a lot of memory in real time and like persistence or experience isn't really a thing with the neural nets, but I do wonder if there is some sort of persistence given how quickly we're doing this because I'm, I'm just going right back into it within five minutes. 
Probably closer to two, three minutes. Uh, we are showing a uh, good representation of the median and the occupancy network there with a good path planning to go around it. And here we are. All three modes expertly handling that double left. So it definitely could have been just, I don't know, the increased glare from the 7 a.m. sun coming over that bridge. That was the speculation in large part, and I think that this essentially confirms it. I'm gonna pull in here and get turned around, but so far so good. I think I'm gonna do it one more time. I just I get it one more time and see what happens. Um, it did really good with that hairpin getting all the way down to the edge, but I'm gonna put it back in a assertive and see if it mirrors that behavior because it seemed like the first time being average, it didn't, it stopped halfway through. Second time being assertive, it went further. And third time in chill, it went like all the way up to the final bit of the hairpin, almost going completely through it. Really curious of what's going on there. I seriously don't think it has a lot to do with the mode. I haven't seen anything to really indicate that, but more testing will point that out. All right, here's our final go around. We're gonna hit this in assertive mode and see how it does compared to chilled, which did really good up to that last point there. And we have vehicles behind us, so we gotta be cognizant of that. But I wanna see just how far in we proceed on this hairpin. It seemed to get farther and farther. Um, if this mirrors the last lap, then it seems to yield some credence to it sort of being familiar with it today because of how frequently we've gone through it, but I, I could be totally wrong. Oh, no, it's got some stop points popping up now. Oh, it's, hey, 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 what's happening? Oh man, oh man. All the way to the last point, just like last lap with that final little stop. So it, it sort of seems to be gaming, gaining familiarity there. Oh, it's really hard to say what's actually going on. I didn't notice the, the false positive warning popping up at all though. Maybe I'm just blind, but I didn't see it, I think, at all. Level two of the gauntlets actually got two situations like that. I'll be excited to show you all what that's like. But all right, this is our final left. Our final, final left. We'll see how it does. We've got good path planning, smooth line. We've got the median, the occupancy network. We've got everything we need. So I'm expecting another flawless left turn. What a night and day difference from the gauntlet. But again, decent cloud cover. So good visibility without excess sunlight. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, that pretty much wraps that up, man. That is that is the last part of the gauntlet that was really a problem. Aside from the initial right turn initiative problem that seems to be existent, but I don't really know what'll fix that. Uh, we'll see how 11.36 does. So my plan uh, today, actually, after I do my last little science experiment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go test out something that I know should help us figure out if the modes actually do have any difference because I found a trouble spot that prevented a successful robo-taxi trip. So I'm gonna go replicate that. And my plan afterwards with 11.3.6 is to hit the gauntlet for you guys, just like I did with 11.3.4, except we're only gonna do the original gauntlet one lap. We're gonna see how it does just to make sure that we didn't regress in any major way. And then lap two will actually be the first lap of the Friars Circuit. The second version of the Gauntlet, or Gauntlet 2.0. It is... Ah, I can't wait to see how it does. It's, it's just a more complicated version of the Gauntlet with more of a roundabout way of going at it. So it'll be a bit easier to make it into laps than the original Gauntlet being more of a down and back but it is going to really stress decisiveness, quick decision-making, how it handles yields, false positive stop signs, all the goods. So that should be coming out tomorrow after today's little science test video. I'm trying to get this stuff out quick for you guys. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just zip on to the next experiment, which will be in the next video. So take care.